守りに来たんだこっちは俺に任せておけ A week is too long, goddammit. A week is too goddamn long. But we're finally back to it. You got your notes open. Yep. We got to remember names.、Mm -hmm. We got to remember last names. Okay, I think we have everybody on the title screen. I think we've seen everyone once, if I'm not mistaken. Really? I believe At so. At least once. Interesting. So, so on the far left, next to the kitty,、yes. is Kyuta, I believe, Shiba. Okay. Um, we have Shu Amikuchi somewhere up there. Well, we've got, let me take a look. I recognize right, ne right, right to the next to there is Tough Girl. Yeah.、Um, who got into、uh, like a fight.、Uh, obviously, you've got main character in the middle. Is that Yuki Takamiya? And then I, I'm not going to be yeah, able、okay. to tell you right away. You've got Athletic Girl on the right. You've got Hat Boy. Yeah, not to know.、Um, Hat Boy is. You've got Regent Kid. So Regent Kid is, is, is there too, right?、Uh -huh. The dude who gets、uh, beat up.、Um, you've got Twin Tails. So yeah. yeah、um, you've got.、Uh, Twin Tails. Is that Usami? We'll see. I mean, that, makes, that would make sense with the name.、Uh, again. Yeah. The name links, Reggie, are a little hard right now, so don't <laughs> worry about it, okay? But yeah, maybe. Just giving it to you. Just give That's it to fine.、You. But I want more. And we were getting ready to.、Uh, hold on a second. Not the manual.、Uh, oh, I guess we can't access everything right now. Okay. We were getting ready for Megumi Yakushiji. We're trying to spot the timeline or. I was going to take a brief look at it, but it's not here yet. Yeah, I'm down for it. We gotta get into it first. So. <sighs> Story of Megumi Yakushiji. Oh, 2024. Aw, lame. This is usually a good shortcut, but. It is so gross today. Muddy as heck. My shoes are soaked. Yeah, that sucks. Wet socks is disgusting. It's not great. Splution. What's up? You look bummed. I want to live in a culture where you could grab an umbrella, no matter what building you're in, and just borrow it. Right? Temporarily, because they're not afraid that people are going to steal it. Because people aren't assholes. That'd be nice. That'd be great. It's nothing. Thinking about how no one talks to you again. Is that what's got you down? It's just because you're so quiet, Megumi. People take that as you thinking you're better than them. Oh, really? Damn. Or that you're cold and distant. Not sure which is worse. They just need to get to know the real Megumi. The one who's a hopeless romantic. And a cool, laid back girl just like everyone else. Maybe then they'd have an easier time talking to you. Yeah, just smile. Hey, you should try posting <laughs> videos online. Like, <laughs>、uh, don't you or, love to hear? Or better yet, get on TikTok. <laughs> Thanks, Tomi. It could really help you come out of your shell. Start doing little coordinated dance videos. Aren't you comfortable? No? No. It's, it's drop it low.、Out. It's gonna work out. Drop it low? No? You don't w a n t to do that? You don't w a n t to drop it low for Chinese surveillance? No? I think I'll pass. <laughs> oh, damn it. Dude, the CCP wants to see you drop it low. <laughs> Show it, eh? You really are great at singing, Tommy. Your knee how? Did you have a rabbit video? Mm hmm. I never knew you were so talented. <laughs> well, you're in luck. I'm posting a new one when I get home. Also, I remember being told that, like,、uh, a thing with posting videos when you're young、uh, in Japan, too, is that, like, oftentimes you should hide your. They, they hide their identity because they don't want to be, like, they don't want people to know, like, oh, who you are, what school you're going to, and kind of, like, you know, inadvertently kind of dox you, even if it's, like, for a talented video. So you'll see, like, musicians doing some amazing covers, but they'll keep, like, a mask on and stuff like that.、Mm. 
you see that? Uh, there was a light. I saw it in the water. Probably just a car headlight. I'm really confused right now. The year said 2024, it right? It certainly did. We're way past the 80s. We certainly are. All we know is that school still exists. And they're pretty bad at it. Because they're still in school. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. Well, hold on a second. <laughs> Hold that thought. Fall from the sky. What's up, Sentinel? Are you okay? Ah, oh, jeez. I'm completely soaked. And my umbrella got blown away. What a drag. You're just... like... Nope, no reaction. Holy crap. Okay. We could have totally died just now. Okay, there. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it is that took a while. fucking rad, is what it is. Uh, if you want to, let's just... Yeah, this is in fact 2024. And um, as far as we know, the latest we saw, uh, everything was happening in 1985 when we were last uh, going through the classroom with people that we recognize. Mm-hmm. And uh, it seems like I, yeah, manually scrolling to it is. Oh my god! Gonna have to be the way. Uh, the far flung future was. No, that's all. Ninety-eight. Uh, twenty sixty-four. Sixty-four. Yes. Sixty-four. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Cool. All right. I wasn't sure what you were looking for. Yeah. Now, uh, Tommy is not the same person as, if we can just, no, nope. mm, not there yet, at least. Okay, but 1985, right? Like, am I... Not anyway. You know what? Let's just play. <laughs> Let's just play. Could it be a piece of an airplane? Who am I thinking of? Because we told there's pigtails. They were in, in 1985. She was in 1985 she was there. in the classroom. Yes. with the others. Correct. So being, I'm like, being what all is snarky, happening? right? We and we said we made a crack about her stepping on balls. Uh, uh, okay. So, so yes. All right. Cool. Just not crazy. This is fine, yeah. Fine. No, that's not it. It's not an airplane. document this. Oh no, where'd my phone go? Where did your what phone go? This? Did they just appear here and became amnesiac or something? Like, is there some time travel right. fuckery? And it's moving? Uh, this seems dangerous. What if it, like, blows up? Who's in there? I gotta report this to the police. Uh, right. From out of the cockpit. Oh shit. Uh um Are you alright? <sighs> Where am I? No. When? When am I? When? Well, today is October. No. The year. What year is it right now? Oh, it's twenty twenty-four. 2024. I must have been forcefully shifted here. The front line's been broken. It's over. It's all over. Oh, damn. What? What happened? Um, should I call an ambulance? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, um, I'm just from the school nearby. No. Then that means this place is next. I'm Juro Izumi. He goes by Izumi in this line. Okay. 
What's up? Okay. Mm -hmm. We've got a complete divergence thing going on, maybe? Or so. There's. Okay. All right. And I've come from the future. All right. All right. This timeline. They're coming. So then that Tommy doesn't have to make sense if he's not Kurabe. Maybe. Maybe. I have no idea. I will <laughs> and 1985, here we go. <laughs> We're jumping, yeah. Half a year Half later? Half a year later in 1985. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Oh, so fuck. There, there's a chance that in the last six months she was teleported back here to there's do a, something. There's a possibility. A cat. Oh, it looks so fluffy. Come here, Fluffy. Maybe simulation classroom or simulation school is simulation reality. But more likely, just time fuckery without absolutely being, actually being aware of it. Oh. Dear God. Are you alright? <laughs> this is gonna be a trip, dude. You look a little oh lost. boy! I was so just lost. Thinking, in 1985, the West Building doesn't even exist yet. She totally came back. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So she was. We just. Mm -hmm. She was already back. We just didn't know what, what was we going on before, yeah. Churro. So she meets her, like, she gets her understanding of the battle in the next six months, and then comes back in time. Yeah. The point, after we the were point introduced where... to her not understanding anything, and now she's back in time. Yeah. Understanding that she's back in time, yeah. I needed to see you. Just... One last time. One last time? They're coming. And number 13 is the only one that can still fight. Mm. I have to go. N no, you can't. I won't let you. Taking back that robot, trying to fight by yourself, it's not a good plan, Jiro. You couldn't defeat them even with all your friends. It's true. I don't know if I'll be able to protect you all. But I can't do nothing. But you haven't even recovered yet. Megami, I really am grateful to you. So, this is goodbye? Uh, I hope that it's not, but... Megami, this is bad. Uh, Juro Izumi. They're here. Just like you said they would be. Okay, that whole fucking classroom is just sitting here in the past, waiting for shit to go mm. down. <laughs> okay, all right. In the, <coughs> in the in the future, in in the past. What is this? Is this the future back? What? How do I call this? In 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 back to the future. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Right? It it is it is it is like the. Where do you want the camera to be? If the camera stays in 1985. <laughs> Some bullshit's going down. If the camera follows your characters, yeah. then it makes more sense. It's chronological, <laughs> right? It's the it's the it's the it's the JoJo problem or uh, any other time. It's the time travel problem and anything else, right? Um, if the camera stays in the reality where the fuckery is going down, mm -hmm. people are blipping in and out <laughs> nonstop. Yeah. But if the camera follows that person's consciousness in the different places they go then you get an actual narrative out of it. Don't worry about it for now. <laughs> the camera's probably going to give us the more forgiving route, I hope. And now monsters are flooding the port in droves. But these three are at the very least, okay, we got our, they're, they're all pilots, yeah. <sighs> right. Megami, Tomi, I've told a woman named Morimura about you. When the time comes, 
You must listen to what she says. Although, what are the odds that them hanging out and walking home on their own would turn out to be like pilots too? Yakushiji-san? Unless anybody can, but I didn't get that vibe. I need you to stay focused. Miss Morimura, how is Juro doing? You must forget about Juro Izumi. And his memory's gone. Right? Yeah. So it's Kurabe. Kurabe doesn't know what he was. Yeah. The Juro you knew no longer exists. There was nothing else we could do. From now on, you cannot go near him. But it's for his own good. How much does Morimura know? I mean, clearly. Clearly. A lot. More than enough. Mm. Not quite the level of, um... Uh, oh... Damn it, I forget. But the creator of the, the fucking... Oh, the, uh... Of the, of the Sentinels? Oh, Kino. Oh, Kino. Tsukasa Okino. Hmm. No, wait! <laughs> Juro! Huh? This is the school you attend. It is? How about we head back to the nurse's office now? It's important to take your medicine, you know. Stop. You have to stay away. He's Juro Karabe now. Not Juro Izumi. I don't understand. He is not the same person. Giving him a new identity was the only way to save him. That can't be possible. It was the only way. I'm sure he would agree it had to be done. So for now, you need to stay away. At this point, he is still very unstable. Trust me, you're doing this for him. Yo, damn. Yeah, how much does she know? Not a kitty. Oh, there oh, we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, settle down. No need to make a scene. People are going to start to think you're crazy. That cat just... talked to me? Thanks, Luna. <laughs> okay. I wasn't imagining it. This cat is talking to me. I was about to say that, imagine the shy girl hiding behind the wall, sp sp like, s staring at senpai trope. Just speaking. Right? Peeking at senpai. Except it's because you're from an alternate future and you've lost your memory. And she knows the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you just go on about your business. Anyway. Yo, you saw this, this movie, man? It was really sick. And she's just like, oh. oh. Senpai, notice me, please, so I can help recover your fucking forgotten past. That's stupid. Cats can't talk. You might want to try thinking before you speak. Aren't you supposed to be smart, Megumi Yakushiji? Hmm? How do you know my name? I know everything about you. You're the one who called me, after all. I... did? Yes, and now I'm here to grant you your wish. Your wish to save Juro Izumi. <sighs> Looks like I hit the nerve. So yeah, I can do it. I can get his memories back. Now do we want to do this me? though? Oh, of course you wouldn't. It does sound too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, I don't go around granting wishes for free. In exchange, I need you to do something for me. Yeah, I'm not exactly the most trustworthy entr entrance. Right? 
summoned being that knows everything about my inner thoughts. Mm -hmm. After you agree to a binding contract, that is. Oh, I know about binding contracts and never go well. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. hmm. Assuming this isn't a dream. Or a hallucination. Or some kind of cruel joke. What exactly would I need to do for you? Reggie, did you sign up for a timeshare? <laughs> if you or a loved one have signed up for a timeshare and need to escape from it, call this number. <laughs> we'll get you out of that goddamn timeshare contract. How many Americans are getting ripped off every single day due to timeshares? <laughs> from another world, one that was destroyed. Destroyed by a relic of an ancient civilization. Uh -huh. It is called the Dimos Code. <laughs> hmm. It spreads like a nasty curse and has begun to infect this world too. I must find all the codes and set things right again. That is my mission. And the no big deal job you get to do. So, Dimos Code. Another world destroyed by the relic. Sorry, of an ancient civilization. It's called the Dimos Code. Okay. So, ancient beings on another world created the Dimos, and now the D are here. Okay. If it's so easy, why don't you just do it yourself? You're not serious, are you? In case you haven't noticed, I'm a cat. You really want to leave the fate of the world to a cat? I don't even have thumbs. If I screw up, you're dead too. You're only damning yourself if you refuse. You don't even have a cool moon on your forehead. Mm -hmm. Sus. <laughs> Oof, big decision. Yeah, it's sus. But if you're fighting the Dimos, then that's probably for the best. A contract with a cat. Are you gonna turn me into a magical girl or something? Right. Well, I am curious to see what this is all really about, and more importantly, who's behind it. I can come play with you for a bit after school, okay? Just cause you're so cute. Sure, make fun. Just the fate of the world that's at stake. There's nothing impossible about it. <sighs> All right, I'll give you some time to think about it. I suppose it's a good thing you're skeptical. Instead of some idiot who believes everything she hears. Make no mistake, you will accept my contract. It's just a matter of time. Uh. I mean, I'd rather you know everything about me due to future knowledge than due to you being from inside my head. Mm -hmm. If it really is true, and there is a way to bring back Juro, then I'd make a deal with the devil if I had to. Damn, though, Damn. that was a hot six months. <laughs> that was a fucking steamy ass semester. Pretty <laughs> right, much. right? Single semester. Stalking like crazy. I mean, he she pops up out of a cockpit. And they're all like, "Whoa, what's up?" And then now we're like to the ends of the earth, you know. <laughs> Some relationships move fast. All right. So, episode five of the tutorial, beginning of the end. Back to that faithful May Day. Four fifty-nine. It's 
23. Okay. Yo, these numbers are... Numbers. There's a lot of numbers now. But 13 is the only one that can actually do the job that we... That we is what we found out. So that's the sen that's the significance of, of thirteen. But uh, it's almost like the title should be Sentinel Thirteen, as opposed to Thirteen Sentinels, right? Yeah, that would make a lot more sense. But it's what like do we know up to now? You know. How am I supposed to damage it? <laughs> Judging by the big crane, that one's probably a high quad. Tommy. Painful angle. She's number sixteen. About? This is my sentinel, isn't it? Seriously, Megumi. I wish you'd just told me. I have to apologize. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't be Look, there's only one thing I want an apology for. I got that switch because you shot me, right? <laughs> okay, what? Damn. Okay, so she they're finding out about each other for the first time. No, yeah. Tony. We'll fight together. Together on, forever. Dork. What's the point of fighting together if it gets you killed? Right? You gonna be dumb? Or are you gonna listen to your best friend? Yeah. You're right. Sentinel number twenty three. Return. Hey. Wait a sec. I get it now. This thing's the cockpit of my sentinel. I can't, yo, I can't believe fucking, uh, 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 Pompadour Boy was important, too. He well, of was, course. he was lit kind of special, it's true. <laughs> he was lit kind of special, I just, I didn't think he had, he'd make a fucking comeback. That's sick. Alright, buddy. You charged out first all thumping your chest, and it took you this long to get here? Although, clearly, he's not from 2024 with that hair, right? No, definitely he, not. <laughs> he's gotta be 85. I don't think we got a Josuke on our hands. The train stopped. I got kind of lost in the crowd. But I got this now, Kizaragi. You can hang back where it's safer, okay? I just got here, you moron. I'm not going anywhere. Fine, whatever. Just tell me which of these bozos I got to trash. Ooh. The one with four legs, right in front of you. That is not a G-Mauler. Uh, her clothes are on. So I guess she got out. Whoa, is that is that how she repaired? I think she's out. Okay. But your first generation sentinel is perfect for close combat. Okay, he's got a first gen. So all kaiju terminal destroyed. That is a failure. Repairing Sentinel. Okay, yes. Yeah. So, she so she's she's outside and it's repairing right now. Damn. We must win. Yeah. Let's turn this around. No point overthinking it. And yeah, he's got a Gen One. She's got a Gen Three. Okay. What now? Uh, what was his Sentinel number again? Uh, Ogata was ten. Ten. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see what you've got. Yep, the melee, the leap, leap attack, and demolisher blade that slices through heavy damage, ignores armor. A okay. Eighty times thirty-six. Uh, cool. We've still got the EMP. You've got long-range missiles, mm. rapid cannons, and an EMP stunner as well. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, and can you? Move on foot? Yeah, you can, actually. Interesting. Whoa. She can actually run around on foot. Hmm. Well, she, she can go through the build, buildings, too? And then eventually summon her sentinel. Ah, curious. So there's an actual get-out-of-mech system, which, again, any fucking good mech game has. <laughs> Shout-outs to Front Mission. Uh, Shout-outs to Battle Warrior. Shout-outs to... All of them. <laughs> uh, fantastic. All right. Well, let's I'll start try. with an opening gambit. Nope, not that far. No point overthinking it. Let's get him. 
start with some shots. I need you to move up a little bit. Like here. I won't give up. And you just come back here and don't die. <laughs> Number 10, moving out. The is I'll try. Oh my god. Attack. Uh oh yeah, hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. They're like any other punks. <laughs> Pause, that's the button I'm looking for, sorry. Here we go. Uh, was that R3? Uh, R3 to pause, yes. Alright. So this is a high quad, giant roving crane kaiju that stands over a hundred meters tall. Comes equipped with an arsenal of weapons and thick armor, a direct hit from its powerful plasma cannons can be deadly. From a, find a blind spot and strike it with close quarter attacks. Oh, close it has quarter. has a plasma okay. ca cannon, homing missiles, defensive blitz and armor. Alright, close well, quarters is the game plan. And we have a move that bypasses armor, right? Yes, we do. They're like any other punks. Uh. Let's do this. Take it. Oh, come on. We must survive. I won't. There's still hope. She's the only one with a turn. Okay. What now? Now you get through that armor. Nice. Melted. Don't even need the EMP just yet. Anything... No, probably some new enemies are going to show up that are going to need to deal with the long-range missiles, so... Uh, let's hit you with these again. Okay. Find this tanky. I need to She's still on route. I won't give up. That's fine. Whoa. I'll try. He, he, in the death path. Uh, yeah. Let's do another one of these. Oh boy. Okay. Did they just get reinforcements? We've got two more threats incoming. Fine by me. I was just thinking I was running out of ass to kick. My sentinel's fixed. I can get back on the field. Good. I was wondering. Right. I was just about. I was just wondering about Please that. Please tell me. Let me fight with you. Sentinel number twenty-three. Ooh. Seriously? Ooh. Let's go. So we're gonna see a bit of uh, skin every time that. I'll to get back in, a little, little nice little, little art. I mean, yo, Vanillaware is gonna flex, man. Two girls and their robots against the world. You know, we could record this and be set for life. Wow, way to just ditch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking, he's like, yeah, it's not like I did anything. Totally not out here punching and blading the shit, doing all the damage to the life bar on the. No, no, hey, me? What? Don't worry about it. It's fine. So you on the Insta. Uh, when you get destroyed, you get immobilized, and the pilot is ejected onto the battlefield, at which point you gotta wait a little bit and then re repair. All right. Automatically retreat and begin repairing, but they'll temporarily be inoperable. Without the protection of the Sentinel, any pilot on the field can be killed by a mere explosion. Oh, avoid moving the pilot um, anywhere dangerous, get them somewhere safe, and then repair. Okay. Yep, so just run around, <laughs> stall for time, move away from the action. Get away, get away, get away. Yeah. Uh, ooh, okay. Pulse lasers. That's cool. Armor piercing as well. Okay, long range armor piercing. And no EP. That's good. Oh, yeah, no cost. Shield, Shield matrix. matrix. Shields on allies within target area. Ay. Notifying attacks from Kaiju. Zarya is ready. Very nice. 
and Flare Torpedo. Deploys a mine at target area, detecting Kaiju, it explodes, overheating them. Okay, so she is a support. Generation 4, mind you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, different design, right? Much more it's, it's life. Uh, this thing is effective for six seconds. Okay, so when you're in the shit, pretty solid. Cool. All right. How far can this reach? Pretty decent. Yeah. yeah almost in range. Yeah, Just yeah. To walk a bit. Okay. Absolutely. We must win. All right, let's get you like to like here. Oh my God. Get these demos. No, a little bit closer. I need to think things through. You know what? Uh, an EMP right here would be nice. Right? Save yourself some damage. Uh, they're all grouped up. Can you reach? Uh, the range on it is... Let's see. Last time it was a pretty big circle, but yeah. So we just gotta move a little bit closer. We'll get them all. Yeah. This isn't so hard. Get right behind it. Number sixteen, moving out. We must win. Ready for action. Oh yeah. Woo. I've got them now. Ha! No chance. They ought to be oh, used okay. to fights by now. Uh, she did not create. She didn't. Yeah, she's still on her route. So, let's see. Let's get you uh, moving as well. Everybody's got to move up. Oh, so that means that we could have paused it and then given him an action in the last few seconds to get them all happening at the yeah. same time. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, you're gonna need to jump into the action anyway, so you just move on up here. All right. Got touched. We can do the triangle attack where the actual um, workers are or something. Where the actual meta gauge use EMP itself, because th there's that secondary, right? You can do it once per battle. Mm -hmm. So um, let's just do that now to stop. Uh, now let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Okay. What now? He took a. He took some hits though. Attack, destroy these. Oh no, wait, you deal with the big boys. I need you for that. Keep an eye on his life. Hmm, still moving. I can do this. This isn't so hard. Oh, okay, there's a little time bar there. Yeah. Uh You could put out a nice little shield uh, around him while he does work. Hey, that's not bad. They're like any other punks. He's ready to move. Come on. Nice. Yeah. Let's go. Perfect. This. That shield was six seconds, or was it? Oh, I six forget seconds, how much. Okay. Yeah. Right there. I'll handle this. Was that okay? What do I do? How was that? Uh, how is EP? All right, uh, we're getting a little low. Mm -hmm. Gonna need uh, more than what we have to. Yeah, here, let's let's do a rush attack to kill this first. And then uh, use it for the next one. Let's do this. Get oh, not, not enough. Ah. Can you touch it? Yes, possibly. To finish it off. Huh? Yes. Nice. They're like any other punks. Good stuff, Yakushiji. Alright. 
Put the work in. And now, you could probably finish this off. Yeah, right as they're launching the missiles. Perfect. Nice. Good job. Shut the attack down. Still got a bit of armor on. Just a bit. Yeah, it's going to need another punch, to be honest. So I'll wait for him to deal with that. Uh, you take these out. It looked like, is it just the direction of those particles, or did something go in, or did they go into the G-Molar? Like, it looked like it almost absorbed their their, their particles. I think it was just the direction they went, they flew. Mm. Uh, you can finish it off with a rush attack. Come on. Take it. Nope, the armor sustained the damage. Oh, that missile attack from earlier didn't do enough. Okay. One oh one. Let's get both of them then. Let's do this. Got him. I need Fuck. <laughs> Not enough. Uh, then. Should actually calculate when we look at that instead of assuming he's gonna take enough. Uh, yeah. You could finish him off. Yeah. Did I? Yep. She gets all the credit. <laughs> See, they don't need him. They just need themselves. Put it on the Instagram. Mm -hmm. They're gonna make it. They're from the future, man. Of course they know what's good. You don't. Oh shit. Well damn, it's not over yet. Okay, yeah, nice. <laughs> Good job. They all vanished. What just That's what I want to know. It's the EMP. Aegis activation confirmed. That area is now secure. Or better than the EMP. Hey, he's that second year. Renya Goto. He's from the future. And further into the future than me. Megumi, when we're done with all this fighting, we should go get some crepes. I know a great little place near school. Damn, they make me want to have crepes, talking about all mm -hmm. these crepes all the time. Yeah, wouldn't miss it for the world. By the way, we got an Aegis name drop. Mm -hmm. Yakushiji, prepare to intercept. The D forces have changed course. We won. Hey, well done. Okay, so yeah, the the, the Metagodge EMP is like dire ass situation, you know, <laughs> like once per fight. Let's go. Here, it, so in um in uh blah um bup, 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 into the breach, you get once per game, uh, or like once per mission, you get the ability to undo a turn. Oh, you know, and it's really interesting. It's like list. one move or one. A one move okay one move once you can undo a mistake and that's it you know and it's really great because like you fucking need it at some point when you miscalculate something but like um it's one of those like yeah in a in a uh, in a tactical rpg or like in a uh, you know anything turn-based like that you're just like you need a little bit of a like okay fuck i fucked up hit the panic button spend all the meter mm -hmm. and now we got to do it for real you know i like that once <laughs> only once Unless you get a character that gets uh, two. Shoot. What do we know about you?